So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video I will cover another amazing lab that is HTTPS content based load balancer with Terraform. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing videos. Now open the cloud console incognito window. Now here if you are for signing in do check the lab instructions for username and password. Now click on I understand and will move forward to this step. Now here you have to click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now we will be activating the cloud shell. Basically we will be using the cloud shell and the cloud shell editor for modifying the file and there we will be adding some variables and updating the regions. So wait for the cloud shell to activate. First you need to continue and then click on authorize and wait for the cloud shell session to become active. So as you can see the cloud shell session is ready. Now in the description box I haven't shared any github repo because here we'll be using the manual lab. So for that just copy the lab instructions. First we'll clone the repo. Now from here you have to change the directory where we will be using the file. So now open the editor. For opening the editor open this link. It will open the editor in new tab. And now you may face a glitch error. So for that you have to close the terminal from the second window. And you may face an error like it will show the transfer to another session. Just click on reconnect and the cloud shell session will be back on the first page. Now here we have to modify the file. So before that go back to the lab instruction. Copy the directory carefully. You have to copy it while opening the directly the file from this folder only. So for that you have to click on command palette and you have to just replace this arrow symbol and then click on this file. So basically here is the file. Now some of you may find issue like locating as it's clearly mentioned we have to change the basically add the values on the line number 133 as you can see clearly mentioned here so you may face issue like you are unable to find the certificates here so no need to worry here is a way i will complete it just below the 133 as you can see here let me show you just paste the value here carefully so just hit enter and paste here now you have to just save it and first let us update the variables files also so copy this and again click on view command palette and just remove this arrow and just click like this and here you can see the region so in my case the first region is already updated but sometimes you may get different region as you can see for group 2 and 3 you have to update it manually let me show you first copy it like that and just replace after this. Make sure you don't replace extra comma, inverted comma I mean, or any other full stop has been added. So make sure to take care of the value that you have to update only the region. Don't play with any other things. Now click on save. Now you will be initiating the Terraform on the cloud shell. So now we will run this command and after that we will apply all the changes and it will take some time for that. So just copy it carefully. As you can see here is the thing which we have to do later on. So just click on apply and now it's gonna take 5 to 10 minutes even more so you need to wait for it. After that we will open the external AP and check whether we get output or not. So now let's wait.
Okay, as you can see, the output has been generated. Now we will move forward to the next step that is viewing the external IP and checking the Zot Balancer app. So, first of all, wait for some time. And if you haven't liked the video, like it and do subscribe to the channel for more such amazing contents. Try to hit check my progress on the lab, you won't get score because applying of these changes takes some time so you need to wait for 5 to 10 minutes extra after executing these steps so just wait for some time meanwhile you have to just open the external url paste the link here and now echo the external ip and just you have to click on it basically it's showing the site can't be reached it will be updated after some time and you will be able to view the app. Let me show you how it will be the app. This will be the output as you can see. Now we are not getting score. So no need to worry. Just wait for it. So after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes, you will get output like this. From here, you have to click on advance and then open the IP. How you will do. So here just follow proceed as you can see we got dot port that means we are done with the lab as you can see the score is already updated and if you like the video like it and the subscribe to the channel.